Good evening. Hello. Hi, good evening, Maricela. How are you? Hi, Kili. How are you? Eh, no sé si podríamos ver la parte que no pude hacer, teacher. Sí, claro. Ahorita quiero entrar. Ya le digo. Ok. That's fine. Porque ay, hubieron unas que de plano no, 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 no logré, teacher. Ok, don't worry, we can check. Sería la lección 5. Punto 13, donde está un audio. Ok. Lesson number 5. Ok, let me go sí. to that one. Oh, okay. Okay. It says, what's Mary doing? Listen to the sounds and respond in each number. I'll follow the example. So we have, where's the example? Okay. All right, let me open the audio so we listen. Answer questions about each sound. One. Es como carro que está manejando. Yes. Yeah, so maybe number one, she's driving, we could say. Mm. Okay, and let's see the next one. It's here. Uh -huh. What do you think she's doing? ¿Y qué cree que está haciendo? Nadando. Maybe swimming. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's say she's swimming. Okay, number three. Three. What is she doing? Mm. Comiendo. Eating. Is eating. Okay. Next one. Cheese. Let's. Sorry. Um, let's listen. Four. Seven is prison. Come see. Seven is Next Wednesday night. Okay. What do you think she's doing in that one? Television. No. Watching television could be maybe watching TV. Let's try. Number five. Five. Okay, dance. Dancing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Is dancing next? Six. What do you think Biker. that is? Bike. Oh, riding a bike. So she's riding a bike. Number seven. Okay. Seven. Six. 
tennis. Okay, playing tennis. He's playing tennis. And the last one. Eight. Shopping. Shopping? Mm, well, no. this one, let's Mark. listen again. Listen again. Eight. Mm -hmm. What do you think she's doing? No, this thing, so teach. Okay, está eh, escribiendo como en máquina, like typing. Ah, okay. It's typing. Yo pensé que estaba como cobrando. Yeah, it's similar, right? The sound is similar, but it's typing. In this case, okay, let's check ah, them. Okay. Yes, we es got them all. Que, creo que la, el apóstrofe, yo tengo problemas. Oh, tengo but you can also... You can also write, I think it accepts she is driving. Se puede usar sin. Yeah, you can use the complete the complete form. Ah, okay. Let me double check it. Ah, yes, okay. it takes it. So you could say she is driving, she is swimming, she is eating. Mm -hmm. You uh -huh. can use that. Okay. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. You're almost done with the platform. That's very well. Casi termina. Eh, no, me falta, creo que, bueno, le enseñé el porcentaje como iba. Ajá. You got 81%, right? 81, ya va. Ajá, ¿está bien o, o, o todavía falta más? Vamos bien. Bueno, y todavía nos falta para completar el trabajo en plataforma. El trabajo en plataforma, Ajá. todo eh, tendría un valor del 100%, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. eso indica que eh, nos falta un 19% en ese momento. Pero uh -huh. eh, ya con el porcentaje que usted tiene, ya aprobó el curso, ¿verdad? Eso sí. Ah, ok. Pero tengo sí. que seguir como, claro, como, para que... como, como practicando, porque Exacto. siempre en algunas oraciones me trago y ya no sigo. Exacto, de eso se trata, de que sigamos practicando para pues este ir aprendiendo más, ¿verdad? No solo quedarnos en el sí, 80%, sí. sino pues eh, avanzar claro. lo más que se pueda. Thank you, sí, sí, teacher. Okay. So we're clear about all the topics and exercises. Estamos claras entonces en todos los ejercicios y las y los temas. Eh, Marisela, ¿tiene alguna otra consulta? Sí, estaba estaba viendo uh -huh. la Lo que estuvimos viendo ayer, el presente continuo, creo que se llamaba. Mm, yesterday, no, we didn't no. study that. No. The, what did Estamos we study? Prepositions. Prepositions, quizás. Eh, no, sí, no. ayer hablamos de las prepositions, pero no sé si. Sí. No sé de is, all. Oh, in, on. Is, ajá. Is, on ajá, her. eso sí está. Eso es, Okay. Ajá, que estábamos, que estábamos practicándolo y uh -huh. behind, in front of nature. Eso sí me quedó bastante claro. Ok. Good. Lo que, lo que sí, quizás porque en alguna de las plataformas que, que, que he avanzado, tal uh -huh. vez porque no lo hemos visto. Y ahí es donde, donde yo considero que, que me quedo como como que no avanzo, ¿verdad? Pero creo que... ¿En qué parte? En, creo que en la cuatro es, eso estoy buscando. Y en la cinco ah, okay. creo que me salió un poco más fácil. Quiero okay. ver para qué puedo. Porque son unas frases que yo las tengo que completar. No, okay. me, no así como cuando yo busco la, la respuesta que me ubico en lo que he estudiado. Uh -huh. Aunque no lo sé escribir del todo bien, ¿verdad? Okay, all right. 
and look for the, the section number and we can take a look at it. Okay, estoy buscando. Okay. Que me lo abra. Porque ahí sí, sí quedé como que, que epea. All right. Estuve también we'll buscando see. en internet también algunas que me apoyaran, apoyarme en algo para okay. poder. Sí, mm -hmm. es esta. La 4.11 de la lección 4. 4.11. Donde yo tengo que poner, creo que, la 4, 4.11. Ok. Debo entender que debo de poner lo que veo en la imagen. Hmm, let's see. It says, look at the pictures and input the correct answer in blank. Some sentences uh -huh. will have a negative connotation and some positive connotation. Okay. So we have um, about the example. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit mm -hmm. today. I'm wearing mm -hmm. high heels too, or I'm wearing high heels too. Okay. And... But where are the pictures? Oh, I didn't get them. A ver, déjenme actualizarlo porque no me la salen las imágenes. La primera es como que está la chica que está lloviendo, algo así. Okay. Um, yeah, this is the example. Okay, let me see. All right, I got it. So number one is the example. Mm -hmm. Number, this one is, it's raining, but I, I am or I am not, you should say, and then wearing. I am wearing a raincoat or I am not wearing a raincoat. What do you think? ¿Cuál ponemos, afirmativo o negativo en esta? Vamos a usar el verb be y el, a ver, tendríamos que usar el verb be con el verbo wearing. Mm -hmm. Wearing y luego lo que acá dice, ¿verdad? El raincoat sería una, um, how do you say, una capa, una capa de, para cubrirse de la lluvia. Entonces sería negativo. That is right. Let's try it. Oh. Okay, so it would be it's raining, but I'm not wearing a raincoat. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Let's try to, to complete some of them so you have a better idea. Number two, it's hot today. Tosi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they, mm -hmm. I say here. ¿Qué crees que ponemos acá? ¿Cuál sería la forma del verb be para they? Mm -hmm. Am, is, or are. R. R. Right? R. We say R. R. They are wearing or they are not wearing. Wearing. Are are not. They are not wearing, right? Not wearing. Wearing. Yes, they are not wearing sunglasses. Dice está eh, soleado, pero ellos no están utilizando o no están usando. Um, how to say sunglasses and yeah, lentes de sol. Yeah. Okay, I, I am not wearing. Yes, they are not wearing, you would say. Number three, Phil is wearing a suit today. He, yeah, a brown shirt. He's wearing mm -hmm. or is not wearing. What do we say? 
He is wearing or he is not wearing a brown shirt. He's wearing. He is wearing, right? Phil is wearing a suit today. Está utilizando un traje y está usando una camisa um, café. Okay. Number three. But he, well, it's about Phil. But he, a tie today, a tie, una corbata. So he is wearing or he is not wearing? What do we say? He is not wearing. He is not wearing. Hmm? Okay, may we continue? Seguimos o estamos bien ahí? Yes, seguimos. Okay, fine. So let's see, number four, it's cold today, but Katie isn't wearing a coat. She, sweatshirt, gloves, and a hat. Un, eh, una sudadera, um, guantes, y un gorro. Like, is she wearing or not wearing? Is a wearing. Is wearing, right? She is, is wearing. wearing a sweatshirt. A sweatshirt, gloves, and a hat. And next one, boots. Is she Bot wearing boots? Yes. Botas? Yes. Mm, yes, it's a wear. Are you sure? No, it's no. not. I don't think it's they are. not wearing. It's not. Yes, it's not wearing, I would say. It's not wearing. And uh, sneakers, uh, tennis. Is she wearing yes. uh, sneakers? It's wearing. It's wearing. It's, it's she wearing. is wearing, I would say. Okay, let me submit it. Here we go. Okay. Yes. Oh, we didn't answer this one. It's part of it. Okay. Yes. You got it? Um, ya está, Maricela, la... ¿La pudo resolver? Salió una negativa, salió una ahí mala. Eh, ah, sí, esta nada más que no la respondimos, pero es el ejemplo. Ah, ok. It's the example. Sure ah, ok. Can... No hay problema con eso. Um, bueno, ustedes sí deberían de, de completarla porque creo que sí le da puntos, a ver. Sí. Sí, parece que, que no. suma. Yes, so you should complete it. It's ok. So it is, I am wearing. Yes. I am wearing. Excellent. You got it. Okay. Sí, excellent. Teacher. All right. Mm -hmm. Very well, Maricela. Any other questions? Ahí va. Que me había quedado. Okay. That's fine. All Thank right. You. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, welcome. Good evening. Hello, everyone. Hi, thank you. How are you? Good. I'm glad to hear that you're fine. Okay, I think it's time to start. So welcome, everyone, to our class number 10. Today, we got a new topic to study, which is numbers. And Eva, let's see what we got. So in this class, you will become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103 and talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. En esta lección vamos a hablar de los números del 11 al 103 y de cómo decir las edades, edades nuestras y también las edades de eh, otras personas. So numbers. We got number 11. You already know from one to 10, right? Now, after 10, we have 11, 12, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now, let's repeat them. Now let's repeat them. Everybody repeat after me. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11
Okay, let's continue. After 20, we have number 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and then we get to the Okay, let's repeat. 21. 21. 21. 22. 22. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 24 Okay, then after 30, we get to the tens. We got 40, 50, 40, 60, 70, 60, 80, 70, 80, 80, 80, 90, 80, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 100 100 all right um let me explain here so as you see we get to 20 and then we start repeating from 1 to 9 right 21 22 23 24 and so on the same happens with the other tens here if we had the number 31, that's how we would say it, right? 31. Then, well, here 31. you can use the hyphen or you can omit it. Acá no es obligatorio utilizar el, el, el hyphen, el guión. Lo puede usar con guión o sin guión. So it's, it's just okay. All right, so here you get to 31. Then this would be number 30. 32. 32, right? 30. And we continue like that. 33, 34, 35, 36, and so on. Until we get to 39. Then after 39, we have 40. And what happens if I have this number? What number is it? 45. 45. 45. Yes, I would say 45. And how about... This one. 47. 40, 47. 47. Uh -huh. Then we have 40. 40 eight, 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 eight. 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 This one is? 49. 49. 49. 49. 49. Right? 
So you see that's how they go. We keep repeating, right? We get to the tens and then we keep repeating one, two, three, and so on, right? And the same happens with 50. We go 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. And we continue until 59. Then we get to 60 and the same happens. 61, 62, and so on. Así vamos diciéndolos todos hasta llegar al 99, 99, right? Then after 99, we get to 99. And after 99, we have 100. And what happens if I have this number? How do I say it? Well, I say 100. 100. 101 and we continue like that right 103 104 and so on that's how they go any questions Tenemos preguntas? No. no? Okay, no. let's repeat them no. one more time. No. Listen and repeat. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 12. 12. 12. 12. 13. 14. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 14. 14. 15, 16, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, 21, Seven. We say. All right, now let's watch this video because there's something important here about the pronunciation. So let's go to section number 3.6. Go. Okay, it's loading. All right, let's talk about syllable stress. Um, let's listen to the video and then we are going to to explain about it. Excellent. 
excuse me, can you turn off your microphones, please, everyone? Oh, it didn't start. Let me see. Okay, let me refresh it. Give me a second, please. Just a minute, please. I'm having a little trouble with the, with the video. Okay, I got it. Everyone. In this class, you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only using long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers. And in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and Similar numbers such as 30, you'll have you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now is your turn. Okay, so it talks about syllable stress, right? Hablamos de la acentuación de las sílabas. And it explains that we can only uh, stress one of the syllables. Solo podemos tener una sílaba acentuada. Um, en este caso de los números, tenemos um, los números del 13, del 13 to 19, que van acentuados en la sílaba final. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then with the numbers from 30 to 90, we would stress the first syllable. Con los números del 30 al 90, estaríamos acentuando lo que es la primera sílaba. You say 30, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So do you hear that difference? We say 13, 13, 30, 30, 14, 14, 40, 40, 15, 15, 50, 50, 16, 16, 60, 60. So that's how they go. Now let's practice them. Everybody repeat, please. Open your microphones and repeat. 
Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirty. 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 Fourteen. Fourteen. Forty. Forty. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifty. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Sixty. Sixteen. Okay, we have sixteen. Sixty. Sixteen. Sixteen. Sixty. Fifteen. Fifty. Fifteen. Fifty. Fifty. Fourteen. Forty. Fourteen. Forty. Thirteen. Thirty. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, so keep that in mind. Remember, uh, we stress the last syllable in the ones from thirteen to nineteen, and we stress the first syllable in the ones that go from thirty to ninety. Right. So be careful with the pronunciation there. Now let me go back to the presentation. And let's continue by practicing some numbers. So here, let me give you a number and you tell it to me. What number is this? Number three. three. Number three. Three. Okay. three. All right, another one. <coughs> number. Twelve. 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 How about Twelve. this one? Twenty. 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 This one? Thirty-seven. 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 Forty-nine. 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 Fifty. 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 And this one? Fifty. Fifteen. Remember, fifty. This is fifty. This one is fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, let's try with another one. Let's see this number. And this one? Nineteen. Good. Okay. How about this one? Eleven. 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 Seven, 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 very well, you got them. Seven. Okay. And do we have any questions about numbers and how to pronounce them? No? No. Okay, good. No. Then we are going to do some practice. Here I have some numbers. I want you to take turns by saying them. So I'll send you to the breakout rooms for a moment. So you practice and, and then we come back and we continue, right? Um, I'm sending you the screenshot to the WhatsApp group. And here you go to the rooms. Okay, give me a sec. Okay. 
Hello. Um, hi, just give me a second, please. Something went wrong. Permítanme, tuve un problemita aquí para enviarlos, pero ya los envío. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Julio and Claudia, can you accept the invitation, please? Julio and Claudia, pueden aceptar la invitación, por favor, para ir a los breakout. Pues no sé, él no sé, estaba allí y me sacó. Okay. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo hago eso? Let me send you. There you go. Okay. Hi. Hola. Hi. Hi. No, it seems it would be only you two, Eduardo and Sony. So you take turns. Okay. Um, twelve. 49, 50. Maybe you should take turns. Sonia, are you there? Sonia? Sonia doesn't answer. No sé si ya le, le habló Sonia, Eduardo, que él respondió. Sí, sí, estaba hablando. Oh. Hmm. Sonia, ¿nos escucha? Ok, eh, voy a enviarlos a otro grupo, Eduardo, para que puedan practicar con, con los demás compañeros, porque quizás Sonia tiene problemas, ¿ok? Ok. All right, let me send you to room two. And... The, the numbers we're, we're gonna practice the number okay, okay. Um, ya lo dijo maria jose verdad todo hasta donde como la tercera recortina? columna falta eh, ah ok si quieren no okay. 60 21 73 90, 102, 88, 66. Okay. Oh. César? César? Hi, hi, aquí estoy. Comencemos con hi. la primera de nuevo. Exacto. Sería 12, 49, 60, 60, 21, 73, 90, 102, 88, 86. Uh -huh. Ahora, eh, Janet. 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 
a usted, Carla. Hola. Si quieres, sí, a usted. Bye. 12, 49, 50, 34, 20, 75, 46, 100, 61, 30, 27, 94, 101, 58, 60, 21, 73, 90, 102, 88, 66. Ok. Janet, no la escuchamos. No escuchamos nada. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Ah, ok, bueno. <risa> Yo hablando y nada, me escuchaba. <risa> bueno, vale, empiezo. Sí. 12, 49. Uh, 50, 34, 20, uh, uh, 7, 75, 46, 100, 61, 30, 27, 94, 101, 58, 60, 60, 21, 73, 90, 102, 88, 66. Okay. Okay. Hoy me toca, uh, quiero ver. Sí, salió ¿Dónde está? No, ya solo estamos tres. Ah, ¿y qué pasó con la otra niña? Sonia es estaba, que creo yo. Es, es que estaba, estaba Sonia también. Sí, salió. Ya no estaba. No. Seguimos repitiendo así uno cada uno. Eh... De atrás para adelante. <ríe> o sea, desde, desde abajo para Bye. arriba. Ajá. Bye. Empieza. Bien. 12, 49, 50, 34, 20, 75, 26, Okay, everybody's back. Let's see, we're going to check pretty quickly. Let's practice the numbers again. Okay, let's see Julio Ortiz. Say this number, please. 12, mm -hmm. 49, 50. All right, 34. thank you, Julio. Okay. okay. Let's see, Carlos Rodrigo. Continue, please. Twenty. Uh, uh, I, um, 75? 75? 25, sorry. Uh, 20, sorry. 75. 25. I said 75. Very good. Uh, Next one. Is 45? 46. 46. You got it. Okay, thanks. And let me see who continues. Elmer Mauricio, go ahead. 100. Mm -hmm. 61. Yes. 30. Okay, thank you, Elmer. Next one, Wilfredo. Uh, 
27. Okay. 94. Yes. 101. Okay, very well. Maria Jose? 58. Yes. 60. Good. 21. All right, excellent. Let's see who's next. Maricela Salinas? 21. Mm -hmm. 73. Yes. 90. 90. Okay, very good. And let me see Janet Jennifer. Janet Jennifer, we cannot hear I you. I heard on 102. Mm -hmm. 88. Yes. 66. Okay, very good, Janet. All right, excellent. I see you have been practicing the numbers. You know them already. Now let's talk about numbers and ages. Let me go to the platform. And and let's watch the video that explains about how to tell ages. Let me just get it. Okay, here we go. Everybody pay attention. Twenty one years old. What? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103 and talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. Now, let's practice exp Okay, before we get to that part, let's uh, practice a conversation. So let me see, let me have two volunteers to read the conversation. Who wants to read? Tengo me. Voluntarios. Uh, who was that? Excuse me. El Omar and who else? Que tiene 21 años. Mm -hmm. Who's going to read with Eduardo? We need a woman, a girl. Okay. Ready? Who's that? Okay. Just give me a second, Eduardo. We need a pair for you. Okay, let me choose somebody then. Arminda Cruz. Go ahead and read, please. You start, Arminda. Yes. Okay. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's good. What is his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes. He is, and he is very smart too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy, she's only 12. She's the baby on the family. Okay, very good, Eduardo and Arminda, thank you. Now let me select another pair. How about Elmer Mauricio and Maricela Valdivieso? Maricela, you start. <clears throat> well, 
will stay. He's my brother. Well, is good. What is my name? James. We call him Jim. Well, well is is it? He's twenty one years old. What's the night baby is nine? Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. And was that? And was that? My sister Tammy, she's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Okay, very good, Elmer and Maricela. Now everyone repeat, please. Who's? 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 Who's, who's. who's. who's that? Who's that? His. 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 Who? Cute. 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 Um, how? Who's that? What? How? How old? How old? How old? How old is he? How old is he? How old is he? What's he like? What's he like? What's he like? How? I bet. I bet. I bet. Nice. How old is he? Nice. 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 Smart. 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 Okay. All right. Now let's talk about ages. Let's continue listening. My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Now let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. 11. 12. 13, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 21, 20, 30, 29, one hundred and one hundred and one. One hundred and three. 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 One hundred ¿Cuántos años tienes? How old are you? María José, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, one hundred and one. Tiene que llevar el M. El M. Um, not necessarily. You could say one hundred and one or just one hundred one. One hundred and two okay. or one hundred two. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, uh, so I was telling you, this is a question for asking about age, right? How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? And then how do I answer to that? Well, it's very easy, right? 
I use the verb be. In this case, I'm asking uh, directly, right? So I say, how old are you? Then I have to answer I'm, and then you say your age. I'm 25 years old. Or you could say like, I'm 34 years old. I'm 70 years old. I'm 50 years old. I'm 43 years old and so on, right? So that's the way. And something really important here is that we use the verb be, as you see. We do not use the verb have. Cuidado, en español utilizamos el verbo tener, que en inglés sería have. Pero en inglés, para la edad, no decimos I have. Decimos I am or I'm. We use the verb be, utilizamos el verb be. So we would answer, for example, how old are you? I am 37. I am 37 or I am 37 years old. That's how we use, how we uh, talk about ages. Now, um, here you can change the question according to who you're asking about. Acá podemos ir cambiando la pregunta dependiendo de quién, a quién estemos preguntando o sobre quién estemos preguntando. Normalmente, cuando preguntamos cuántos años tienes, we use how old are you. Pero si vamos a preguntar sobre otra persona, I would say, for example, how old is your brother? How old is your brother? ¿Cuántos años tiene tu hermano? Right? Then we would say, we would answer his um, 20 years old. He's 20 years old. Or he is, let's say, um, 42 years old. So you see how we changed it, right? How old is your brother? He's 20 years old. He is 42 years old. Another one. Let's talk about... How old is your mother? How old is she? And we would answer... Is... 55 years old. So that's how we use the question and the answer to talk about age. Any doubts? Tenemos alguna duda, alguna consulta con respecto a esto? Teacher. Yes. So. Yo tengo una duda. Este, eh, esa pregunta solo es para personas o también se puede hacer con objetos, con it. Yeah, you could use it with it. Um, or for example, when you're talking about an animal, like how old is your dog? How old is it? And then you answer, how old is your dog? Then you would answer, it's a five years old. So you can use it with any subject. En el caso que digamos yo quiera saber qué tan usado o viejo está un Yes, un you could also say like um, how old is that table for instance, you could say it. How old is that table? It's a five years old for instance. Y de hecho, así como usted lo dijo, en ese caso no diríamos cuántos años tiene, sino qué tan viejo claro. es, right? Uh -huh. Ajá, ajá. Yes, that's right. Okay, any other questions? More? All right, um, so let me tell you, this is our last class before the pause. Esta es nuestra última clase antes de hacer la pausa de vacaciones agostinas. Entonces, eh, nos quedaríamos en pausa hasta el día lunes 9. Ese día reanudamos nuestras clases, siempre de lunes a jueves tendríamos semana completa. Y eh, mientras tanto, en esta semana, si les, eh, les aconsejo que vayamos trabajando en plataforma, que aprovechemos el tiempo para avanzar lo más que puedan. Si puede completarlo todo, sería perfecto. 
Así que eh, les animo pues a seguir trabajando ahí en la plataforma, seguir practicando y pues es eso, es una pausa. Así que eh, vamos a, a aprovecharla para eh, seguir, ¿verdad? Seguir aprendiendo. Estoy igual a la orden ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí nos estamos comunicando y espero que tengan un feliz descanso. So have a nice vacation and a really good night. See you. Good night, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.